Okay, are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Put a one in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Put a one in the chat. Are we live? Wait a minute. Are we live? Okay, let me know. Let me know we are live. I see all these comments. Where do these comments come from? Okay, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am outside Fulton County Superior Courthouse and I just left two here. Well, one was the. Uh, preliminary hearing for Ernest Williams and when I tell you it started off crazy let me tell you guys what happened okay thank you for waiting on me I literally was in from one courtroom I had to rush to another courtroom and I apologize ladies and gentlemen I want to apologize I'm going to spill my tea before anyone else spills my tea let me tell you what happened so I get into the uh, 2B where the uh, hearing was scheduled for uh, Ernest Williams uh, they had uh, a long calendar and Ernest was number 27 on the calendar call so that means in theory they would have to hear all the cases then bring Ernest Williams up it didn't go down like that so essentially what happened was the judge uh, moved his case all the way up the calendar and I think part of the reason why that happened is because I put in a motion for a rule 22 my rule 22 apparently for whatever reason didn't get through the the system so the judge said uh well we don't have a copy of it and the diff, uh, diff, district attorney said well we don't have a copy of it and my only guess is his attorney said well we don't have a copy of it so I went old school old school old school but I wasn't by myself Pammy Pam was right there next to me. She was in the courtroom taking down copious notes, and I would say that her recount of the of the hearing is going to be top notch. So let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what happened. I'm walking, I'm pacing back and forth. Let me get a tripod because we got we got to talk about some things. So Ernest Williams comes out. He's been brought out. He's he's actually got moved up on the uh, on the counter. They put they, had, they called him as the second one versus being the 27th. He walks out in his prison or his jail garb, and he takes he takes the uh, defense table, takes a seat at the defense table, and his attorney Handa Rondon is back in court. So apparently, uh, Miss Rondon is getting all his it appears it's getting all his cases. So she's representing him on primarily all his cases. The same district attorney that was representing him at the bond hearing where I recorded was the same one that represented the state uh, again. So the first witness on the stand was a detective, and I got a business card, Detective Natalie Fields from the Roswell Police Department. She gets on the stand and tells the, uh, the uh, court how did she encounter uh, Ernest Williams for the first time. Apparently, apparently, no, I filed it. I, I, filed, I have a copy of it. I have proof of the email. I did file it. Don't, don't, don't play with me. I filed it. I saw that comment coming in there. You'll try to slip it. You'll try to slip one in, but let me tell you what happened. Detective Phils gets on the witness stands and tells, uh, tells a story about how there was a, some type of, uh, uh, complaint and then she had ran his license tags but he wasn't in the car he was at a lo his car was at a location that she ran his license tags and saw that he had warrants for uh uh theft warrants uh floating all around the uh, all over the place so he wasn't there at that time she says at, at another point she saw him driving she recognized because apparently she must have had he's a detective she detected she saw him driving and uh, she called for backup and pulled him over. They arrested him. In the, in the, when they arrested him, they found uh, a series of things in his vehicle. He, has a lot, he had a lot of incriminating, thing, incriminating things in his, in his uh, 
vehicle. The car actually was registered to Shirley Strawberry. She ultimately came and picked the car up after, let me tell you what, what he had in his car. The biggest thing he had in his car was a laptop. A laptop that contained uh, images of bestiality as well as uh, several multitude of pictures of child porn in his laptop. When I say a multitude, she said there were a lot of pictures of child porn in this, in this, on this laptop. And bestiality, for those who don't know, y'all know what bestiality is. I don't need to describe it to you because I haven't heard the term in a while, but I know what it is because uh, he had it on his laptop. So she testifies that she, she wanted to get a second opinion. She got search warrants. She sent the laptop to Fulton County. She brought in another detective whose expertise is to look at the, the evidence on the laptop. Now, this other detective, uh, she's no longer at the Roswell Police Department, but she's at another county. I, I talked to both of them outside the court. They didn't give interviews, but we did kind of, I kind of asked a few questions. So she, the detective Phils gets a, a several search warrants to search his laptop and what the contents was in the laptop. Uh, what we learned today was that that laptop was, the, the, his attorney, Radon, was trying to establish, uh, did they verify who owned the laptop? Well, she, the detective said, well, his name was inside the laptop. And here's the crazy part. The other person who had that laptop in their possession was his 14-year-old daughter. And the 14-year-old daughter allegedly, based on the detective's uh, uh, assertion on the stand, she too saw some of what was on his laptop. Now think about that. A 14-year-old looking at a laptop, maybe wanted to use it for homework, wherever the case is, she saw some of the, allegedly saw some of the stuff that was on his laptop. That is crazy. So as the detective goes on to describe some of the other disturbing things on the laptop, I'm saying to myself, this is bigger than, this is bigger than I thought it was. His name is on the laptop. It's in, his name is in files on the laptop. The daughter, his 14-year-old daughter had that same laptop in her possession. And think about that for a second. She's 14 years old. What the hell is my dad doing with this stuff on his laptop? What the hell is going on here? So I'm I'm sitting here and Pam is Pam is Pam is hitting it with the pen. I didn't have the pen. I had all the cameras and everything. My cameras is in the courtroom right now. It's in another courtroom. But Pam is there taking copious notes. I'm just listening to this, leaning over to Pam like Pam, you are you getting this? And she's writing. She's writing. She's intensively writing all the details down. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if they can prove a fraction of this, if they can prove a fraction of this, there's big problems for him. And I don't know what certain people, oh, Big Head, because you try to come at me, Big Head. Big Head tried to come at me. But I don't know about Big Head. Big Head probably didn't uh, tell you guys everything. Well, in this preliminary, we know what the state has to fight with. And they have more than a little to fight with. This is what I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is, this is bigger than I even imagined because now you have the detectives that who are actually two detectives took the stand today. They were the only two witnesses being called. They were cross-examined by uh, uh, attorney Rundon, but you really can't get around the physical evidence on the laptop. He has it in the car that belongs to Shirley Strawberry. His name is on the laptop. And then his 14-year-old daughter at some point had the laptop in her possession. And here's the kicker here. The detective, Phils, interviewed Shirley Strawberry. We just learned this today. Detective Phils interviewed Shirley Strawberry. She said she spoke to Shirley Strawberry. So is she going to be a witness? Is she going to, is there even going to be a divorce? Because if she's married, can't she really testify against her husband? This case is dragging. I, I won't say this case is dragging. They're investigating. 
and his bond is still the same. They, the bond is still $700,000. Yeah, but we learned a lot more than we, we didn't know before. We learned a lot more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna get in my car because it is hot and I'm not trying to get caught in this eclipse. Stand by, I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna get in the car. It's good, it looks good. <laughs> to eat lunch so i don't want you guys to say mr Biden didn't do his rule 22 i definitely found my rule 22 uh apparently uh this is the second time this year my rule 22 got lost in the source and i don't like that because if you file stamp it you got to email your rule 22s normally if you file stamp file it through the uh system it puts a stamp on it but the judge said hey i don't have it but the good thing is because she knew that media was in the courtroom, she brought the case forward. She didn't wait. She knows, she don't want me sitting there through all these cases. You got a reporter sitting in the courtroom, ready to record the proceeding. So she did, a, it was a courtesy. I didn't have to stay there all day. And it was the second call on the calendar. There's a lot of comments coming in, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you something. Guess who else came, was in the court? Guess who else was in the court? Guess who else came in the court? You know who else came in the court. Y'all know. I'm not going to say her name, but she came in the court. And ladies and gentlemen, when he walked out, she, he looked back. She looked at him. He looked at her. And I saw, it almost was like I saw some type of chemistry going on. It felt like it was some kind of weird type of chemistry. The two locked, locked eyes. Then he turned around. This is what I, this is why I saw. Pam may have saw something else. But when he walked out, he searched, he scanned the courtroom. He looked around. He looked to see if he saw, I'm guessing he wanted to see if he saw Sonia. But he saw Sylvia. And she had this, this, this glow on her face. And he had, he looked at her. And she looked at him. And I'm looking like, wow. What is happening here? What is really happening here? Are we really witnessing this? But I'm going to tell you what she did do. After we heard what we heard, I went outside the courtroom because I couldn't write, you know, my stomach's not, you know, I, I got a, had a weak stomach. When I saw the two gazing at each other, I'm like, wow. How is she going to explain this away? How is she going to explain this away? When Detective Fields from the Roswell Police Department said, we found the laptop in his car and we found his information on the laptop and we found tons of photos, CP photos. She, walked, she goes in to say there, it was, there were four young girls identified on that laptop. She sent it to a, another detective who this is what they, her specialty is. She's seen this. She saw this on the laptop. This is what she testified to. I wonder, because that person left the courtroom. She ran out the courtroom before it was over. I wanted to see what the look on her face was after she saw all this. It was, hold on a second. It was something else, ladies and gentlemen. It was something else. It was something else. And I, this is the first time I really wanted to record this. I really wanted to record this. I wanted the people to see what I saw when he came out and he looked over there at her. But then I got something for you guys. I got something. I'm on my phone, so I can't really upload it right now, but I got something, ladies and gentlemen. Man, as soon as I walked in the courtroom, I get in there. Pammy Pam is in the courtroom already. She's in there at 8.30. She in there locked in. She did this. I'm here already. Well, no, I'm on a highway. You know, I'm on a highway. I live a distance. But she said, I'm in here. I'm in here. But it don't, it don't start to 9.30. And I said, let me slow up. Let me pump my brakes because I don't need to be crash or nothing to get here. But I got in there. As soon as I walked in there, I'm going to tell you. She's going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you what I did. I walk in and I didn't see Pam. I saw a bunch of people in the court. The courtroom was packed. It was packed. I didn't see Pam, 
But you know who I saw when I walk in sitting by the door? Y'all know who I saw sitting by the door. And she seen me carrying all these bags. I have the big, big boy camera, big Bertha. I came in with video cameras, stills, everything. She seen me all this with a tripod. Not the little cheap tripod. I got the professional one. I tried to walk in. And she was the only one in the row where I was trying to walk through so I won't bump nobody. I said, can you, can you stand up so I can get my equipment through, through the uh, courtroom? She didn't want to stand up. She just swung her legs around. Now, the first thing she would say, oh, you hit me with the camera. No, you have to stand up. You got to get up. You got to let me get through. She did not want me to get through. She, and then so, there was a detective behind her. Plain clothes detective. And she looked at him. And he looked at her. Like, lady, you're gonna move so this guy with all this equipment's here. You're gonna like move out of his way so you can go take a seat. Then she finally swings around. Cause someone said, listen, you gotta move. Like, this is stuff I, I deal with. So then I didn't see Pam. Uh, I knew she was in the court, but I didn't see her. So when I scream out before the judge takes the bench, because, you know, right there, before the court is in order, I can say what I can say. I said, Pam Esquire. I called out like that. Pam Esquire. And she said, and then she wait, I'm over here. Then she got on me. She said, why are you screaming out? Like, why are you put me on blast like that? I said, I want people to know that we got a black attorney in the house. She's with me today. And everyone turned around and looked at her. They turned around and looked at Pam. Oh, you a lawyer. You a lawyer, lawyer. You know I'm going to show her love. And when I tell you, you got, let me let me tell you how the court setup is. You have in the jury box, you the jury box, there's no jurors in it because it's a preliminary, preliminary hearing. You got the cops who's going to be testifying in all the, the cases that are coming up. You have lawyers sitting there. You have the district attorney in the, uh, the district attorney's table. Then you have, uh, you have the defense table. But I want to let them know that not only was I in the building, I brought Pammy Pam in the building. Pammy Pam was in the building. She's in the courtroom. Don't play with her. She's Pam sitting there with a little yellow notepad, pen out, looked like one of those gold pens because she was taking notes. The way it was flowing on the paper, I was saying, this girl, this must be a, a digital pen. I didn't know what she was doing, but the ink was flowing so smoothly on the paper. I said, this woman's prepared. And she didn't run out of ink. She kept on taking notes. When they were saying all the evidence that they had on this, they found this car, Pam was, she didn't look up. This is a true attorney. She didn't look up and say, what did they, what did they say? No, she was right there locked in. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Pammy Pam showed up. She showed up today. She showed up. I was ready. And I, I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you, I, I didn't, I wasn't playing it. I said, Your Honor, when it was my time, the judge got on the stand. She read the calendar call. She got to number 27. Then she, then she said, okay, this is off the record. I don't know why it was off the record, but this all went down. So then she said, she said, I have to, I'm going to call these two cases first. It was a one case that took about 10 minutes. And then it was Ernest Williams case. And right there, she said, well, she started, well, I'm already telling the deputy, I'm going to make it, put it on a record. I'm going to make it a matter of the record that I have a Rule 22 that was filed in your court. And, and the dep I said, I tell the judge, I'm going to put it on a record. So the judge got ahead of me. The dep said, no, the judge said, you know, don't put it on a record. Don't, you ain't going to put it on a record. But the judge, what the judge does is she puts it on a record because she knew I was going to stand up and say, Your Honor, I put my Rule 22 in and, it's, it's, and, and, and I have my equipment. I'm here. So the judge says it. Well, what we're going to do here because I I have a report that there's a reporter in the courtroom. He wants to record, but we haven't got a copy of it. We haven't got a copy of the Rule 22. Now, right now, I, I got the screw face on. I'm like, oh, I know you ain't playing with me. I know you ain't playing with me. This is not the time you're playing with me. But she said, okay. Well, while we don't have it, both the, both parties from the defense and the prosecutor said, no. Well, we didn't get copies either. So I'm in there. All right. Well. <laughs> All right, Judge, what are we going to do? What, what are we going to do? I'm in here. I'm ready. My people are ready. What are we doing, Judge? He said, well, sir, we don't have it. You're welcome to be here, but you're just going to have to. I said, no problem, Judge. No problem. Good. Because I looked over to my right side, Pammy Pam, they're taking notes. She's writing everything down. Judge, don't worry about it. We got, listen, we cover federal cases with our equipment. You ain't say nothing. Ain't nothing but a chicken. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. We got this. We got this. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
this is what happened. And it was, uh, man, when I say, when I heard the chart, I'm like, oh my goodness. You got, you got a tech, the detective, first grade detective. When I say first grade, this, she got that, that, she got that experience and they were investigating here. Wait, hold on. Detective Phil said, you before we arrested him, because they had ran the tag and they saw that he had all these outstanding warrants, the detective was already on it. She was said, she said, Yana, we've been investigating him for over a month before they arrested him. So they basically was looking into his whatever there was. They didn't even have the laptop. It's when she was driving and she saw him. So they was basically trying to find him. She saw him. She probably knew where he was going to be at. My guess is there are more evidence going to come out. Maybe they were tracking him, but she encountered him and she called for backup. She said, listen, I got this guy here with, you know, with all these warrants. I need backup because, you know, at that point you got warrants. This is a felony stop. They're not taking any chances. They're not taking any chances. He wouldn't even look at me. He walked in. He saw me. I had, look, I got this cut. Yo, Ernest, you can't miss me. He didn't want to look at me. He scanned the court and looked right at Sylvia. And I turned around, looked at Sylvia. I kept on looking around at Sylvia, and she had that glow in her eye. She had that glow. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? What am I witnessing here? What am I witnessing here? But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a lot. It's a lot going on here. It's a lot going on here. But I want you guys to, uh, especially my members, especially my members, make sure you you sharing this. Make sure you share this because this 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 thing is real here. This is this ain't no this ain't no. Uh, oh, he had one or two pictures. Detective Phil said they had a plethora of photos of bestiality. Like what the hell is going on here? Like who even Google stuff like that? Ah, uh, like this is crazy. This is crazy. Listen, we're going to walk to the, uh, I'm walking to the Jamaican restaurant, get something to eat, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. I'm telling you guys. Now, you you guys got me out here. I'm going to tell you something. I love my subscribers. I love my subscribers. I want you guys to make sure you are, those who are not following, follow. Uh, we're going to do a part two. We're definitely going to do a part two, but I'm also covering the YSL trial right now. So it's, it's a lot happening. We're on lunch break. I must give me something to eat. Cause, damn, I'm about, to, I'm about to faint out here. Well, I'm not gonna faint, but I'll give me some water. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. I was sitting in that car, ladies and gentlemen, stand by. I do this for you guys. I do this for you. I do this for you. Whew. Yo, it's no, it's no joke out here, ladies and gentlemen. It is no joke. I need to get in a place where... Ooh. Yo, it's, this, it's, it's gonna be an eclipse in less than an hour, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get out these streets. Whew. V. Lenore, where, where you at? Okay, guys, be patient. I'm going to walk to the restaurant and I can talk more freely. Okay. Cats running lights and everything. Okay, stand by. Whoa. Whew. I can't, I can't see the comments now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's really bright out here. And uh, it's kind of weird, too, because I've never seen like this before. Okay. So, so this is a preliminary. Someone says, is he officially indicted? Okay, I got some shade. I'm reading the comments now. Sonia was not there. She was not there. Yo, you know what's crazy, ladies and gentlemen? 
thank okay Teresa thank you for the super chat thank you for the super chat uh, I apologize that I wasn't able to read everybody's uh, super chat I'm gonna try I'm going to try hold on okay someone post uh someone post please my uh, cash app uh, at hip-hop inquirer just post that and post that moderators po post that Uh, you know, I don't like to speculate on anyone's outcome or their case, but if they can prove one, that laptop belongs to him and two, those people identified in the laptop are under the age, it's a major problem. Because she didn't say there was a few pictures. She said there were many, many pictures. That's the damning part of this case. Many, many, ladies and gentlemen, but he is presumed innocent until proven guilty. But I can tell you, as I, as I looked around the courthouse and watched some of the people that were looking, listening, they, first of all, they wanted to know who is this guy that the reporter wants to record. There were people saying, what case are you here for? Who, who, who are you here for? And I said, I gave, I said, I'm here for this case. Like, I'm gonna tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You YouTubers and uh, YouTubers, those who have a great interest in this story has made this a media case. And this is just one, one of the cases that he has, like, man, she, and this is what Detective Phil said. This is crazy. I'm like, wait a minute. Detective Phil, say that again. She said he had a black bag in his car. He had, he had bags in his car and he kept most of his, most of the incriminating stuff close to him. He had most of the incriminating stuff close to him in his vehicle. And Shirley Strawberry's vehicle it wasn't his vehicle. It was Shirley Strawberry's vehicle. He kept the stuff close to him. So I, I wonder what his homeboy uh, that wasn't there, Dre and other, uh, other people, what did, he, what did he say about this? Did someone just put a laptop on him with his name in it? Are we, can we believe that happened? Okay, I'm in a restaurant, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take these off. Okay, uh, where's the front of the line? Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna eat. My brother, did you order yet? No. Okay, okay. What's on the menu? What are you ordering? What are you ordering? No, no, I'm picking up. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm all nosy. You okay, Tommy? All right, let me, let me put my. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Real, real Jamaican. Right. Not the fake Jamaican food. Yeah. This is the real Jamaican food. Yeah. We ain't playing. God, stand by. Let me put my glasses on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I need some water. I'm telling you, I, I was about to faint in the car. I was about to faint in the car. No, yeah, I'm talking to the people. So I wonder, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder, after hearing all this, after hearing all this, this is stuff, you have a detective that substantiated this. You have two detectives. Pammy Pam's gonna to talk to you about the second detective. She's gonna to talk to you about the second, the first one, let me tell you something. I ain't gonna dox her now. I ain't gonna dox her. But you know I'm on. I'm on it. You know I'm on it. I'm on it. You know I'm on. It. I can't put a name. So you, you know, I'm on it. Who ran out the court? She did. She ran out the court. She, she didn't want me. To, <laughs> she didn't want nobody to see it. Like yo, 
yo, yo, your, your, your homeboy, yo, he looking, he looking pretty crazy right now. Let's see how she spins this. Cause I know Pam ain't gonna put no cut on this. And I'm not putting no cut on this. We're gonna give it to you, we're gonna give it to you raw. Let's see how she spins this, cause I'm gonna tell you. I came out, she, Pammy Pam will tell you this. I look at the prosecutor. I say a few words to the detective. I'm like, wow, you're, you're sitting on the treasure troll. Treasure troll. You're, you're sitting on a treasure troll. Whew. All right, listen. Listen, I, I got no problem with anyone being prayed for. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> what, 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 oh. What's your name? I'm about to put the order in. Okay. It's me. It's me. How you doing? What you got special today? What, what, what you got special today? You got yams? You got anything like that? What do you got? Okay, give me a uh, uh, stew chicken, yams, rice and peas. Small lunch. I'm on lunch. You know I'm on lunch. I come here. I'm on lunch. Next, next, next. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. You, you can put some. Uh, put some jerks. I'm sorry. Can you put some jerk sauce on the rice? Thank you. How you doing? How you doing? All right, guys. Oh. Oh, I didn't talk about my badge. Hold on. Listen, I didn't have breakfast. I'm telling you, ladies, I didn't have breakfast. Let me put this down here. Let me put this down here. Ooh. How you doing? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on here. Oh, you know some oxtail gravy. I, why did it say oxtail gravy? Oh my goodness. I should have said that. See. Now I had to rush out. I didn't eat breakfast. Yeah, let me look at some of the comments. Let's see. That's right, D to Diva, hold me down. Here, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. I'm trying to type my uh, D to Diva. Can you type type my cash app in there? Can I type here? I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. You, you're right. Take, let me take that coat off. Yo, I'm, you're right. I'll take this coat off. Stand by. Uh, I think she's going to go live. I, I believe grown woman advice was good. Uh, I think she's going to go live. Uh, she's she's she left the courtroom, but I brought her inside the courtroom for the YSL trial. I brought her inside. It got her wristband up, so she came inside the YSL trial to monitor a little bit of it. You guys, I don't know if you're following YSL, but I'm going to tell you. That witness, that witness, she was cooking today. But I'm, I got to fall back. I can't really talk about the case in the restaurant. I'm going to fall back because I don't know if there's any jurors inside here. So let me not talk about the case because I don't know if there's jurors inside here. So I'll fall back on that. Uh, can someone type in my cash app, please? Excuse me. Sorry. I'm gonna try something different today. As long as it's not an energy drink, I'm good. 50% juice. Oh, oh.
Yo, Mr. Adams, uh, he definitely was cooking today. He was cooking. Hey, how you doing? No, no, I don't, I don't drink alcohol, so this is not 50 50 percent juice. What's up, man? You got me? Hey, love, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, no, I got jerk sauce on a stew chicken with jerk sauce. Right? Thank you, my man. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Young lady. Cash uh, or card? Uh. What's the total? The total with card is $13.91. Don't pay cash. cash. I know I get that cash discount. Cash. You know. <laughs> you get the cash. This is tax time. We try to, we, we monitor and everything. I uh, know, just the food. I'm eating here. I'm, eat, I'm staying here to eat it. Thank you. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. You got my drink, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to tell you how this thing tastes. I don't know. Okay. I'm about to break it open. Thank you. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> okay, guys. Hold on. Pretty good. Got pretty good. See, here's the here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta eat my lunch. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. <laughs> uh, yes, that's it. At Hip Hop Inquirer. Yes. 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 I decree and I declare. Let me let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I thought the bond hearing that I recorded was something else. When they start talking about that laptop, ooh. that laptop. I'm gonna tell you now. I don't think I could cover the trial. I'll do the prelims, but I don't, the, the trial situation. Ah. Uh, This, this trial situation is something different. This trial, this trial situation is something different. When I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's going to take a plea. I, if I'm a gambling man, based on the totality of everything I've heard thus far from inside the courthouse, I am guess he's going to take a plea. He's not going to put his... He's, he's going to take a plea. Go take a plea. And he's presumed innocent, but my my goodness, they found you with a t they ran your tag. Warrants popping up all over the country. They're popping up all over the country. Just think about that for a second. This detective was on his neck. Let me show you, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm, what I'm working with over here. So you got warrants popping up all over the place. I don't think he even wanted to say at this point, I'm being framed. I'm innocent. It, wa it wasn't me, bro. How do all that stuff get on your laptop? I saw something, I, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what I saw. I, what I appear, what, what, I, what I think was happening when his lawyer was questioning the detective, she was trying to suggest perhaps the laptop didn't belong to him. But mm, I don't know. Because you know what happens? They're going to trace his IP address because a photo has information in that photo. 
They have it's codes in the photo. I am a professional photographer. I know they have geo settings in photos. They like they're gonna look at his history. They're gonna check his his uh his his uh his Google. They're gonna check his Safari. They're gonna check all that. Stand by, guys, please. Sorry guys, I gotta I gotta eat this. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Excuse me. Prosecutors in here. Got, got the prosecutors and investigators in here, so I got to keep it low. You guys hear me, right? You got prosecutors and investigators in here. I got to keep it low. She ran out that cold one. What's up, Jill? Julie? This is my this is my country. This is for my country. Half. Yes. Jamaican. But can you cook like this? Okay. I want to see the photos. I want to see the photos. You know who ran out the courtroom. I'll just say Manny Fat. Excuse me. Manny Fresh. Excuse me, guys. Manny Fresh. <laughs> well, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Yams. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm rushing because I got to get back to court. But I want to talk to you guys. They've been playing in your face. I'm telling you. They have been playing in your face. They've been playing in your face. Mammy Fresh, my bad. They've been playing in your face. I'm telling you. Ain't no way in the world they don't know they don't know it's about these. No. Why would people even Google that type of stuff? <clears throat> his search history, they already pulling his search history. They, they gonna look at when it was searched, where was he at?
Drew don't need to be on the phone. He's a fool. He need to be writing letters. I'm gonna tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When they would read, when the detective was testifying, I kept on thinking about Grown Woman Vibes intro. I was thinking about Grown Woman Vibes intro. And I'm, as they were doing this, thank you, Queen, thank you very much, thank you. I was thinking about the intro to Grown Woman Vibes videos. I'm like, whoa. Nasty. Yo, that's why you don't be saying much. This is serious, man. This is serious. They say you're, you're nasty. I'm gonna say, don't, don't be mad at the attorney. Everyone has the right to have counsel. Don't be mad at the attorney. But she got some work to do. She got some work to do. Now listen. Only my members, only my members can do a recap with my with this live. My members only. Y'all can do the recap with this live. My members. I'm doing this for you guys. My members can do this. I want to tell you something. Uh, yesterday, I watched the brothers live yesterday. The brother' name is Taz. I watched his live yesterday, uh, and I want to say something. I don't got a problem. I have no issues paying it forward. I want you guys to check out my man Taz. Check him. Check his lives out. He was doing a recap of a. Uh, in custody interrogation and it was pretty accurate it was pretty accurate I'm just saying that to say that let's support these content creators that are being original being creative providing information that you can use so I say that to say follow my man Taz I don't know him personally, but I, I like he, I, I like how he rock. I like how he rock. And he's married to the incredible Nyla for Grown Woman Vibes. He's married to the incredible Nyla for Grown Woman Vibes. There's enough love enough money out there for everybody we ain't got to cut people's throats we ain't got to snake people just do it just be original just be original and don't hate on your don't hate just for the purpose of hating i'm gonna tell you something else oh i, I want to say something i can't say right now I'm gonna say it right now. While they didn't find my, they couldn't find my Route 22, guess who didn't put a Route 22 in? Take a guess. Because they know I was gonna stand up 
and tell the, yo judge, what are we doing here, judge? Taz is your husband. Don't play Nyla. Stop playing that, Nyla. Nyla, I saw what you did to him. Let that man sit on the beach and, and on the, in the water and relax. That was wrong what you did. I saw it. You was on your paparazzi that day. I saw what you did. I saw what you did. You'll know why. You'll know why. I'm going to tell you why later, why she didn't do it. Because I would have stood up and I would have protested. I would have said, Your Honor, this is not what you want to do. This is not what you want to do, Your Honor. Just think about this. My, my student stabbed me in the back, my student. So do you guys think you're safe out there? My student stabbed me in the back. She did that. I came in court today. I'm telling you, I'm locked. I'm like, cameras here. I got all kind of cameras here. I'm ready to set up angles. I asked her. It was a one row that no one was sitting on but her. And she was sitting at the edge, so no one could, she would have to, I mean, come on, you're not a small person. And then my bag would have hit you. You would say, oh, he hit me. I asked her to get up politely to stand up. Just move to the side, let me walk through. She didn't want to get up. I just said this yesterday. I told you guys in the membership section what she did before. She would not stand up. She wanted me to struggle to not hit her. Like for real. She she didn't want to stand up. I mean, like it's it's narrow spaces. It was an old guy. When I got to the other side, he stood up. She wouldn't stand up. Like, come on. Looking for a reason. She was looking for a reason. But let's see how she tells the story. Let's see how she tells the story. She ain't gonna tell the story the way it should be told, in my opinion. She's gonna do it like this. <clears throat> She's gonna do it like this. <clears throat> well, they said, they said he had, he had porn, saw child porn on the, he had child porn on the laptop. I declare, I declare. And he he had bestiality on the laptop. I decree and I declare. But it, it was she was just saying all this stuff. But I didn't see it, so I don't know if it's true. Yes, I want to say it with the reverence. When she talked to you guys, I want her to say it with the reverence that she says. When she says things, when she talks about me in the most mean-spirited ways, I want her to give him that type of energy. I want you to use the same language you used when you was talking about that girl that said you hit her. I don't want the soft smoking. I want you to talk about this. I want to see the the the, the 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 disdain. I want to see the 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 concern for the community. Hey, my brother. I want to see that. She'll go with the song. Oh, well, what? Well, it's it was it it was a laptop, but we don't know if it was his. 
We don't really know. We don't know if it's, it could have been planted. You know the system is so corrupt. They were just going into the ground. CP and BCLs. You know they they so cut the crap. It was a conspiracy, right? It was a whole conspiracy. It was a whole conspiracy, right? Come on now. That Negro had everybody fooled. That Negro had everybody fooled. He, he had me fooled. Like, what the hell? You have a... You have no reason for that. Like, you can't get satisfied with a beautiful woman hard-working woman? Like, for real? The hell are you looking at animals? Cats, dogs, whatever. What the hell? I don't go, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you now. Don't be Googling this stuff. Don't put that crap on your computer. Do not Google that stuff. Don't Google it. Don't, tr don't, don't do it, I'm telling you now. I'm giving you a warning. You don't even want that on your computer. Don't, don't do it. I'm telling you. Do not make that a part of your search history. Don't Google it. And you guys, between you and Pam, y'all, you got me covering a case like this. Yo. This is what I'll promise you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll cover it up until pre-trial. I, I don't think I could do the trial. I can't sit through the trial like this. I can't. I just can't. Because they're going to be posting exhibits. And they're going to be like, do. If you're guilty, take the plea. Take the plea. Going down the road, he's on down the road. Get your Wizard of Oz on, he's on down the road. Yo. A condition to his bond release should be do not be around any cats, dogs, chickens, roosters, cows, none of that. Sir, you have to go vegan now. Yeah. You don't messed up. You got to go vegan now. You can't trust someone around. You can't trust no one around your cat, your dog. Allegedly. I can't. I'm gonna tell you something else. I heard, I listened to the detective. I heard uh, attorney Rondon ask us questions. I don't need to sit through all that. Someone said to me, she might be on his live. She, someone said to me, she said, Dennis, be careful with the type of cases you cover because you start having night nightmares. 
certain cases I just can't cover. And I, I mean, ain't no punk or like that. But it's just certain cases I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want even in my, my, my psyche. I don't want to think, even think about it. Like, when I go home, I'm like, okay. Think about the detectives, the investigators that have to investigate these type of crimes. Think about it. Day in and day out. Think about the detectives that have to investigate these type of crimes. That boy go get locked up. He But here's the crazy part. You have cats like this walking the streets. You see a guy walking, you know, you don't know what people are into. This is, I'm gonna say, you know what the hell people are into. Like, just think about this. You could have, you got a working woman connected with the right people and you doing this BS, allegedly. I have to say it. I have to. But you doing this BS, really? Show me and explain to me in what instance would stuff like that be on a computer that you own? That you possess. You get on, possess. Explain to me. I'm gonna do my Jamaican mud bang. Yo, Dre, check your man. Check your man the next thing you talk Check him. I don't know your man. Check your man. Judge me later. Yo, check your man. But I would say this. Keep passwords on your computers. So no one has access to it and can put nothing on it. Because he has the computer locked. They had to get a warrant to open it. He has computer locked. So my question is, you, I'm not gonna call him a sick bastard. I'm not, I'm not gonna call him a piece of crap. I'm not gonna call him disgusting piece, piece of doo doo. I'm not gonna say those names. What I'm gonna say is, why did you 
allow your daughter to even have that laptop in her possession. Why? If you hear anyone saying they're framing him, slap him back in the neck. Slap him in the back of the neck. They, they're caping for this. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't ready for that Detective Phil to come in and say she saw all that on the computer. She had to get a second opinion. She had to get a second opinion. So, I said a lot, and some of you have been joining in after the fact, but you got to replay and look at what happened in this hearing. Hold on. I, I'm not going to go crazy with this. I got 1,200 plus people watching. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. Just hit the thumbs up. I'm not going to go... Go say a hundred times. Just go hit the thumbs up for me. That's all. Smash that thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. Come on. You see that thumbs up right there? Just smash that thumbs up. I want you, you content creators, they're talking about the story. This is what happened. Don't let nobody BS you. This is what happened this morning. Don't let no one BS you. This is what came out in court today. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be talking too much more. He would be a damn fool. Because now, we heard stuff that we never heard before coming from the investigators. And why are they framing him? Why are they framing him? You know what I'm saying? Why would they frame him? Okay, guys, I'm walking back to the court. Don't go nowhere. I'm just going to walk back. Yo, this heat, I, I'm not really ready for this heat, but I'm ready for it. Stand by. It's a hand sanitizer. 
organizers. Oh boy. <clears throat> How you doing? Did you drop my phone number? That was hilarious. All right, just having a little fun. I said, did you drop my phone number? That was my line. I, I create that line. You hear anyone saying that? That was my line. That's an old school pickup line. I'm just having fun, ladies and gentlemen. More so the ladies. Come on now, 13 seconds, let's go. 13 seconds, 12. How you doing? How are you? Oh, good, good. Okay, someone famous is out at the courthouse because I see a chauffeur here. My camera's in the courtroom. Uh, all right, guys. Before I go in, because I'm going to walk in and I can't be on live going in. So I'm outside the courthouse. Let me see here. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. I got to walk into the courtroom. I'm um, in the live, but I will be back. Thank you for everyone. If I miss anyone, I appreciate you. I really do make sure you are subscribing first and foremost. Get yourself on those members. So we're going to have something for the members only tonight. I'm going to share that with you guys tonight, what I got. I'm going to share that with you from my membership section. That's not for everyone. That's for you guys. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm walking in the courtroom. I appreciate you. I really do. I'm out.